You touch them up again. Touch them up again. Let's go. Step back a little towards the guys. Fight number 12, heavyweight bout, 235 pounds. pounds. Heavyweights. Rashid Evans, one win, zero losses. AFS Team Asylum in the blue corner wearing the black shin pads, black gloves. And Kyle Bilquist, zero win, zero losses at the JD Fight Team in the red. And these are two big men. Wow. Uh, mouthpiece out, I think we're going to get a stoppage. Great job on the takedown defense by Rashid. I'm already impressed with that. I didn't know if he had that in him. I want to see these boys strike. Let's do it. And a big right hand. I don't think that's... I mean, a lot of punch-out power, but they both have a lot of stamina as well, I'm sure, this Bill, early on in the Bill, fight. Bill Quist has an outstanding wrestling pedigree background. Um, I, I, think as, I, think as, I think as far as Rashid goes... You're not going to see a, a, a more scary athlete, but here's Bilquist right into the mount. That was a nice takedown, too. It was a fantastic takedown. Bilquist is an All-American wrestler, um, and that's going to help him in, the, in this fight. But, again, the, the man that he is fighting is one of the most powerful guys I think we've seen here. He has knockout power. Uh, Rashid has the fastest knockout in New Breed history. What was it, five seconds? Uh, it was under ten seconds. There's the arm bar, to, and that's going to be it. He's, he's in trouble. Wow, and Rashid powers out of that. That's a very good. Billquist for a big guy, man. That was a very slick move. This is amateur MMA, and you look at the quality of that that you got here. I right. mean, this is, this is world class. Uh, good job by Rashid of uh, thwarting off that submission attempt. But I think if you're going to see the pace is going to slow down a little bit now. The sure. bigger guys are going to fatigue. And you're going to see Bilquis maintain dominant position. He, he's going to have that over Rashid. But Rashid can at any moment can be dangerous with the striking. He's probably going to try to stall and want to get it stood up. Right. You know, but you did see Bilquis have a nice punch and uh, a good shot. Um, and, and, and you can see that he's, he's not just a wrestler. You know, right. he, he shows that he had some, some hands too. So... Great fight so far. I mean, if you if you get into this cage as an amateur, even as a professional, against an all-American wrestler, I mean, you have to really watch Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You have to and respect that skill. You know, now, wrestling alone is, you know, not enough to, to win a lot of fights, but it, it, it certainly, it's, I think it's the foundation, Mike. I think it's the absolute best foundation to start MMA on is having a wrestling background, whether it's a solid high school or collegiate wrestling background. You see a lot of the, uh, the college All-Americans. Uh, for example, tonight, Shane Carwin's fighting June, uh, Junior DeSantis, national champ Division II. Brock Lesnar, national champ Minnesota. I mean, you know, 99% 90, of the fights go to the ground. That's yes, they do. Although, although, Last 10 seconds to go in the first round. Great job by Bill Quist. Uh, I, I think he's got a nice gas tank. He doesn't seem tired. He's going to maintain the mount. And, and this, is how, this is how Kyle wants this fight to go. This is what he wants to happen. I got to tell you, I've, I've seen Rashad fight before, and I, and I said to you when they were walking out, I go, wow, this guy's in, this guy's in trouble. Rashid's an animal. And what and did I say? And you, you said that Bill Quist was going to win this fight. And That's right. He, right now, he's proving that. You know, he's got he's to uh, keep the energy going. But, uh, you know, l listen, Rashid may be one of the, the most dangerous strikers you have in there. He's the toughest nails guy, but he's going to get, you know, he, he, Kyle has that ability to frustrate him and put him on his back. And you, you can't knock somebody out from your back. Right. You know? Now, I'm sure, now I know Rashid's one of Phil Dunlap's guys. He's going to be well trained. I'm sure he does jujitsu in the ground game, but I just think he prefers to stand and, and, and bang, you know, more of a straight up boxing style. What do you think Bilquis comes in at weight wise? He's 231 pounds. And what about Rashid? 231. Both the same. Yes. Rashid looks much bigger, doesn't he? He's, he's enormous. He, he is, yeah. He's got a lot of muscle, and right now, muscle takes energy. They're and both he, heavily muscle. Yeah. Round two. I mean, Bilquis still has, a, has a, a leaner muscle mass. Again with the mouthpiece. He's got... What's going on with that? Is that, a, is that him I'm being gonna, tired and his mouth is open? I'm going to tell you what's happening with that. One, he's, 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 he's breathing with his mouth, yeah. and you should breathe through your nose. He's fatigued. He looks tired. And when he's breathing through his mouth, he's, he's, he's coming out a little bit.
That was a borderline illegal punch. This is getting a little dangerous here for Bilquis. He take that fight to the ground. Good, he, he focused in, he looks, he looks basic. He wants this fight on the ground, there's no question Absolutely. about that. Very nice job by Bilquis. You, you really can't, it's very difficult for someone like Rashid to get into the grappling with someone like Bilquis. He's been doing it his whole life. I mean, it's, Rashid's sitting flat on yeah. his back. There's, it, it, it's, it's, but if he, I don't know much about Bilquis's boxing, but I, if he just did the boxing, it may be something different. But as we know, this is not a boxing match. Right. It's a mixed martial arts. I think you're going to see Bilquis go for this armbar again. Well, he's going to have to stay busy. Even in the mount, it's possible they could they could stand it up if they don't have any action. So he's going to have to stay busy there. He, he's but, working that right arm, though. He's trying to isolate it, and that's what he did before when he swung over. I, I think Rashid is one of those guys who spit out his mouthpiece again. Now, is Donnie, Donnie's got to stop? What is the no, rule here? Now, there could be a point taken away if that For mouthpiece comes out almost again. Almost like a stall. A stall, yeah, exactly. Um, looks like maybe he's having an issue with that. Maybe it's not comfortable for him, but you, you, uh, you'd probably give him one more warning on that, I would guess. Kyle Bilquis maintaining the mount. Great balance. Mm -hmm. I'm sure his heart's getting bigger here. He's feeling a little more confident. Um, my guess would be Rashid's getting a little frustrated being on the bottom position. Um, you don't see much hip movement from him right now. Kyle's grinding out. Just but pure there, there strength right there. You know, how many more of those does he have? Yeah, and, and I think that's kind of the, the, the deal here is, is he's got uh, explosive, uh, 20 second, 30 second of explosive, but they need some time to recover. And that goes back to what you said about the heavily muscled fighters. Right. The heavily muscled guys, you know, you need that builds up lactic acid. You need the blood oxygen to, to fuel that. So why some of the best fighters in the world don't have They're lean. those chiseled, big, giant bodybuilder physiques. Well, think about the UFC. How many of them are there? I mean, aside from Brock Lesnar before he got sick, there, none of them are built like that, you know? It, really not. I mean, I was one of my favorite fighters and someone that I, that I idolize as a person is Fedor Emelianenko. And if you look at Fedor... He looks like he looks fat. Kind of like me. Out of shape. Right, right. <laughs> you know, you but, 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 but he's an amazing... Oh, wow. I don't want to take anything away from this fight, guys. Very exciting. And, and Rashid is moving. He's almost back up. Ten seconds here. I bet Kyle probably just hold that front headlock. Domination on the ground. Complete domination. But I, I will tell you this. Rashid is, 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 is exploding and almost getting up. And I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm impressed with that. Be knowing with the grappling of this young man here, that he can even stand up. He's, Rashid is powerful, there's no question. I mean, but the thing about it is, Rashid can probably just get uh, use that strength against 90% of the fighters, of fighters. Yeah. but this guy is in the 10% of those, of those upper echelon grapplers. I don't know if Kyle's plans are, but he could have the good base to, to turn this into something, maybe. Sure. Although, Kyle's going to run into a problem with his weight. I'll, t I'll tell you what. Two or five. He's too, he's too short, you're saying? No, it's just there's no. He, he's in great shape, but, but it'll for be difficult for 265 to go pro. Yeah, you know, there, there's that 205, and then there's, a, there's no yeah. 230. So, well, look, let, I don't mean to cut you off, but Kyle, you, just to talk about Rashid striking. If you look at the left eye of him, he's Second got a down. huge mouse coming up. So, I mean, it's obvious to me he's he's going to want to shoot immediately and take this down. He doesn't want to take another one of those punches. No, but it, and Rashid's takedown defense is there. This is the third and final round. Third I would like to see Rashid in this next fight round. to come in a little leaner. Not so much lighter, but leaner. Leaner muscle mass. Yeah. Maybe work on that wrestling a little bit. But oh, big right hand. This fight, yeah, this fight is not. Oh, oh, he, could, he just got clipped. Same spot on that left side. That big right hand he puts down. That's where he wants this fight. There's no reason for him to be standing I up mean, at this point. You can see now is Kyle is a, is a wrestler. And when he gets hit, he goes back to wrestling. Yeah. He wants to stand. He wants to be a fighter. But I guarantee you when he eats that punch, he says, yeah. it, let's wrestle. Let's you know? I mean, I, that I can tell you from personal experience. You know, A month ago, I took the same shot went right to wrestling. He, he's comfortable grappling. I, I think Rashid could probably win 
several fights, though, just with that knockout power. You know, I mean, 100%. He, he's, and we we saw that in his one win here yeah. in nine seconds. And, and the guy that he knocked out that was, is is a solid fighter too. You know, it was it was no uh, no tomato can by any means. Looking side choke, the mouthpiece, Rashid actually put the mouthpiece in. He's, ha he's having some issues there. You never know. There could be a nasal breathing issue for him there. Sure, where he could be you know, sick. Yeah, because you know, that's not normal. But I mean, I got I to gotta tell you, it is very warm in this arena tonight. A little warmer talking, than usual. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm standing next to you, so maybe that's where some of the heat's coming from. <laughs> I love wearing a suit in this weather. It's great. Kyle's deep in that mount. He's deep in the mount, and he's not going to give it up, Mike. He's going to hold this as best he can. Wow, mount look at this power again. move. Look at this power move by Rashid. But he, that's something that, you, you know, you give up your back when you when you do that. Uh, Rashid's having an issue with the mouthpiece, and I think it's affecting him a little bit because he's spit it out and put it back in several times. Um, if I was Bilquis, I would stay out of the mount and go to side control because Rashid is so strong, he's bench pressing him off and giving him almost a sweep. At this point, Bilquist just needs to stay active so this doesn't get this stood up. up. Exactly. Yeah. I couldn't agree with you more. I give some just some some nice body punches. Mouthpiece out again. Last ten seconds to go in this fight. I think you're going to see a 30-27 there, man, and this for Bilquist. Yeah. Dominated the wrestling. Um, it was a great, it was a great fight, though. Doctors checking out Bill Bazai. I mean, seeing two guys in there, two two guys that size with that athleticism is great. You know, too often, too often you see the uh, the, the heavyweights just uh, you know don't have a lot of athleticism, and these guys both have a lot of athleticism. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, before I announce the decision, can I get a big round of applause for our heavyweight war? All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three tough rounds of mixed martial arts, we have a unanimous decision. Before I announce the decision, I must inform you that the referee took one point away from the blue corner for an illegal strike to the face. All three judges scored the bout 30 to 26, all for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Kyle Bilquist. 